G'day guys, my name's Nick. So in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you how to fit a catch can to your Isuzu MUX or D-Max model. And I'll talk you through a little bit of the differences between the other catch cans on the market and why I've chosen the Provent 200. So I'll be talking you through how the PCV system on your four-wheel drive works, so the positive crankcase ventilation, and why it's necessary to fit a catch can to your turbo diesel four-wheel drive. All right guys, so now we'll jump around the back of the four-wheel drive. I'll do a bit of an unboxing of the Provent 200 and show you just what you get in the kit. So I've chosen the Provent 200 from Western Filters. So lots of different people will sell the Provent 200 catch can, but the difference will be the mounting kit that comes with it. So where the bracket mounts in the engine bay. So you might just need to figure out what's going on in your engine bay. So if you have a dual battery system fitted on that side of the engine bay, there won't be any room to fit a bracket for your catch can over there. So you might need to get the kit that mounts on the other side of the engine bay near the airbox like I have. So I've chosen the kit that mounts near the airbox. So this kit has a stainless steel bracket and all the mounting hardware and fittings that we need. So I'll unbox it now and show you just what you get. All right guys, so this is the kit unboxed now. So this is what you get with the Western Filters Provent 200 catch can kit. So you get your hoses made up with all the correct size and bends to fit directly to your car. You get the Provent 200 catch can with the filter you get the stainless steel bracket, your drainage tube which is clear, and then you get all your fittings, hose clamps and bolts. So before I install it to the vehicle, I'll talk you through how this catch cam works. So basically you have a twist top lid, just simply twists off like that. There's a little pressure relief valve here to relieve any excess pressure. And then we have a look into the filter element. So this is the filter element. It can be pulled out quite easily and changed. So you can change that filter if necessary. So they say around every 30 to 40,000 that filter should be changed uh, in normal operating conditions. So basically how this catch cam works is you have your tube from your rocker cover come straight into the inlet. So you've got your arrow here. The oily air comes through this into the filter. It has to pass through this filter element to be able to get out the bottom. So your oil and air vapor mix comes through here. This filter basically separates the oil from the air. So this will soak with oil, collect all of the oil particles coming through that. And then the oil will collect and drain down into the bottom of the catch can. The air will be separated and it will be allowed to come out the outlet. So if we put this back in, you've got your positive crankcase ventilation air. So your oily air coming through here, through the filter, the oil will separate and drop down into your drainage tube once it soaks the filter and then your fresh air will be allowed to come out this outlet so there's a little arrow here pointing out so that will go out to your intake and then you'll have nice clean air coming out here so this also has a pressure relief valve in case the system over pressurizes it can relieve that into your intake and you won't have any seals blow out or any issues with that uh, oil leaking from your seals because of excessive crankcase pressure so now I've talked to you through how the catch cam works, how to change the filter, and basically uh, how it's separating that oil from the air with the filter. I'm going to show you how your PCV system works at the moment without the catch can installed, and then how it will operate after we install this catch can to the vehicle. Okay guys, so we're over at the engine bay now. I'm just going to pop the engine cover off, and we can show you how the PCV system works at the moment. So this cover comes off quite easily. It's just on four rubber grommets, so two at the front, two at the back. So you literally just pop it up like so, and then pop it up either side to be able to get those rubber grommets off. There we go. Okay guys, so first step in the install is basically to pull this intercooler hose off, just to gain a bit more access to that uh, PCV pipe over here. Uh, and I'll also show you how the PCV system works now that I've got that off. Okay guys, so how does PCV work? So positive crankcase ventilation is basically the system that controls your crankcase ventilation. So crankcase ventilation is when your piston goes up in the cylinder and down. As it does this action, the piston rings have a little gap and crankcase ventilation is the gases escaping through that little gap on your piston down into the crankcase and the pressure that builds up in the crankcase from this. So you've got all your pistons going up, all four pistons going up and down, up and down, up and down. The gases coming past the rings, very minor gases, you know, small amounts of gases, but they build up as your engine's running. 
and they drop down through the rings, past the oil scraper rings, and into your crankcase. And this pressure needs to be regulated in your crankcase. So what they do is they run the hose from the rocker cover, because this is obviously all linked. The top of the engine is linked to the bottom of the engine via oil galleries and that sort of thing. So the crankcase ventilation is equalised through the whole engine basically. And then it comes through this little valve back into your intake to circulate it back into the intake. So they need to circulate it back into the intake for emissions reasons. So you can't have oily air you know, coming out into the atmosphere because of emissions uh, reasons. So the PCV system is basically taking those crankcase fumes from the combustion process and regulating them through a valve and back into the intake for emissions. So the only downside to that is that we get an oily intake tract and that can build up with EGR and it can block the intake, damage our hoses and block the intercooler. So that's the main reason we're going to fit a catch can today is to stop that oily air residue going through our intake and causing damage down the track. So the Western Filters ProVent Kit comes with a really good set of instructions. So it's quite in depth and shows you exactly how to install it. So it's a very easy install, it doesn't take too long, you know, half an hour you can have it installed and you'll be protecting that intake from all that oily residue. So I've popped the engine cover off, I've popped the intercooler hose off this side of the engine just so we can gain a bit of access to this hose a bit easier. And now I need to come down over here to the DPF pressure sensors, so these sensors down here. And I need to take these two bottom bolts out. So there's two bolts down here. So I need to take these two bottom bolts out to this one here, and this bolt here. And also the bolt retaining the sensor. So I need to pop those three out, and then we can start fitting the bracket. So now I've got the three bolts out of here. There's just a little uh, plastic clip down here which is holding a zip tie around these, so I'm just going to cut the zip tie and we can take this bracket right out. Let's get this bracket out of the way. So there's the factory DPF pressure sensor bracket, so we can get rid of that. Now we can fit the uh, nice stainless steel Western filters bracket for our catch can and uh, our little DPF pressure sensor will mount on here. So I've finished mounting the catch can bracket, so you just reuse the factory bolts down the bottom there use your factory bolt to fit the uh, DPF pressure sensor and uh, now we can pretty much start fitting the catch can. So the bracket fits in there really nice, it's nice and neat, it's uh, perfectly cut for that location so it's, uh, yeah, it's awesome and it's stainless steel so it's not going to rust. So I've just rotated this mount around a little bit so to be able to do that you just need to pop this off, rotate the mount around and then pop that back on to get the uh, hoses in the right position. So I've got the bracket sitting like that and the hose is coming off on this angle so it will uh, be in the correct spot. So this is the drainage tube you get in the kit. So it's a clear tube so you can see where the level of the oil is at. You also get a little uh, relief or release valve that you fit to the bottom of the hose and then a couple of hose clamps. So all I pretty much do to set up the drain hose is push this barb fitting into the clear hose. Push it right up there. There we go. And then I'll put a hose clamp over there to tighten that hose down. And then I'll have another hose clamp which will go onto the bottom of the ProVent catch can and I'll tighten that up onto the fitting on the catch can. So now I can take the clear drain hose and I can pop it onto the bottom of the catch can. So push that right up there. And now I'll put my hose clamp up here. Put the hose clamp down here on the drain valve and I'll be ready to fit this to the vehicle. Now it's time to fit the catch can to the vehicle and run our drainage tube. So for starters I'm just going to run the drainage tube towards the front of the engine bay down the air filter and I'm just going to fit the catch can. So once I've done that then I can actually route where I want that drainage tube to fit exactly uh, and tie it all in place. So I just had to adjust my bracket a little bit more just to make it clear the hoses down here. So on the back here, there's a couple of different rungs, so you can see the rungs in here. So I just had to move it from the third rung up here down to the second rung. So that will lift the catch can up a little bit more and it was able to clear these hoses down the bottom. I also just had to rotate it slightly more uh, around on an angle. So you can see it's on a little bit more of an angle now to clear the air box. And now I think I've got it in the uh, correct spot to be able to mount it uh, in that position correctly. Now I've got the two 13mm bolts that come with the kit, 
So they just go in through the bracket like so, into the nut certs on the bracket. So it makes it really good having the nut certs on this bracket, it makes it such an easy install. So the mount on this side as well. Do those up finger tight. So I'll just tighten up these two mounting bolts here. So it's just two 13mm bolts. So now I've just got to take the factory PCV pipe off. So this pipe is quite easy to get off. The clamps are large enough that you can actually just clamp them with your fingers so you don't need any tools. So you can just squeeze those, move them along, and then you should be able to just wriggle them off the fittings. Uh, if they're loose enough. So yep, yeah, that one's loose enough. Let's see how this top one is. There we go. So that just pops off nice and easy like that. So when you're fitting your hoses to the catch can, you just need to remember the orientation of the hoses. So for the Provent catch can, dirty air from the rocker cover needs to come into the top and the clean air comes out of the bottom fitting and back into the intake. So I've got a bunch of hose clamps here that come with the kit. Got our hoses that are pre-made, so these are already made up with the kit. So now we can fit our hoses to the catch can and then to the vehicle. So this is going to be the top hose. It goes onto the top of the catch can because this is the uh, dirty air, all the air coming from the uh, rock cover, so that clamp on that way I think, I'll do it, and then that'll slip onto the fitting on the rock cover. So that's the dirty air going from the rocker cover into the top of our catch can. So now it's time to put the uh, clean air tube on, so this is the pipe that goes from the catch can to the intake. So we'll put the hose clamps on there, like so and feed that pipe in. So this is going to the bottom of the catch can and then back to the intake. We'll just feed that in. Wriggle that fitting on. There we go. And wriggle this end on. Nice. Cool. So now those two hoses are on. Now we can just tighten all these hose clamps, get our hoses in, in the correct position and uh, time out of the way. So now I'm just going to use the zip ties supplied in the kit just to tie these hoses together and keep it nice and neat. Uh, it'll also stop it rubbing on the intercooler hose at all. So tie these two together. Snip these off and then I'll spin the uh, zip tie around so it doesn't have any chance of rubbing on that intercooler hose. So spin these around so it doesn't have any chance of touching on the intercooler hose. So there you go. So these are nice and neat now. Now I can fit my intercooler hose back to the vehicle and uh, tighten up the hose clamps. So now these intercooler pipe hose clamps are nice and tight. I've run all my piping. Now it's time to run the drain tube for the catch can. So I've just poked it down there for now. So now I'll show you where I'm going to run it so it's easy to drain and uh, easy to see the level. Pretty much got the drainage tube coming off the bottom of the catch can. It runs along the front of the airbox down here and then straight down through to the inner guard. So come down into the inner guard. You can see that drainage tube sitting there. So you can just lift this flap up and it comes through there. So I'll tie it all up uh, to these lines and then tie it up here. There you go guys, so I've zip tied up my line now. So I've got my zip tie around here, zip tied down there. And I've also zip tied the end back up here just to hold it all together. So basically what I can do now is as a quick inspection I can come by my four wheel drive, lift up this flap, have a look at the oil. Once it gets, you know, up to around this section, past filling all this, I know that it's going to need draining and I can just cut the zip tie, drain it down, zip tie it back up, job done. And then I know my intake's going to be kept nice and clean and oil free.
So now it's time just to fit the engine cover back to the vehicle. You just need to line up the rubber grommets. Give a little tap. We got it down, and then that engine cover is sitting on the rubber grommets. And our job's complete. There you go, guys. So the catch can install's done. I think this kit is awesome. I really like the fact that this is a black plastic catch can with a nice stainless bracket. So I think it blends in with the engine bay. I think it looks factory and the hoses look really nice. Uh, they're perfectly bent so nothing's rubbing on any of your factory hoses or anything. It all fits quite nicely. So in my opinion, the Provent catch can is one of the better catch cans on the market. So the reasons are, firstly, I believe it fits in with the you know factory scheme of the vehicle. I think it looks factory when it's sitting in the engine bay. Uh, secondly, the biggest thing is the filter design. So the filter design, having that paper filter that the oil and air has to go through, uh, means that it separates a lot more oil from the air than some of the other filters on the market. So, I mean, some of those aluminium billet, you know, uh, catch cans, they look amazing, they look really good, but I think they need a little bit more design spent on the actual filter to enable it to, you know, filter out more of that oily residue out of the air than they do. Because from my experience, draining you know multiple different catch cans on lots of different four-wheel drives, I've always drained the most out of Provent catch cans, and the other brands you honestly don't get too much out of them from what I've experienced. So, in my opinion, Provent is the way to go. But at the end of the day, do your own research uh, before you buy a catch can and build your own opinion on what you think, and uh, take everything on board, and then you know make a decision an informed decision on what you want to put on your vehicle. So thanks a lot for watching guys. If you enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And stay tuned for more full driving, accessory fitting and maintenance videos. Cheers guys.